Last month, we asked you kayo what new GPUs you want to see in our pricing sheet. So this month, they're there. 4070 Super, 4070 Ti Super, 7900 GRE. All of that is data sheet na natin. Surprisingly, the 4070 Ti Super is easy to find and relatively cheap or a good buy compared to the next card up, which is the 4080 Super, which currently is around 50% more expensive. So 4080 Super, not a good buy at the moment. It's pa pretty niya. But there are GPUs and CPUs that have stable prices or are even going down, like yung 3060 12GB and yung 4060. More on the prices, ano yung sulit, ano yung overpriced, right after our ad break. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Alright, what's up internet? I know it's Halloween season, but fortunately, hindi naman nakakatakot yung mga prices natin. Or at least yung karamihan, decente naman. If you're new to the series, this is the video where once a month, we look at the prices of CPUs and GPUs in the Philippines. And we've been doing this for two years, so may trending data talaga tayo. You can take a look anytime. The Google Sheet, link below, is open 24-7. <coughs> So that even if we don't track the part that you're looking for, you can at least get a ballpark figure kung okay ba yung tinitingnan mo. And we color code them too. So let's start with the 1650. This is the summary. We'll go into the per shop deep dive because to get the data, we look at the four largest PC retailers in the country. And 1650, very small price increase. Same story with the 3050, pero price drop naman, a very small price decrease. The 3060 is looking good, so dapat mas mura yung 3060 compared to the 4060, and that's what we're seeing here. The average price below 17,000, and yeah, this is a decent price for the 3060, 12GB version, especially compared to the historical prices. So this is the cheapest actually that we've seen, the 3060. If you're in that kind of price range, that performance range, now might be a good time to pick it up because you never know kung aakit ulit yung price. Same decent price structure, the 4060, around 18,800. We've seen it more, we've seen it less. Although ito yung ballpark average price niya. 4060, of course, faster than the 3060. Should be cheaper kasi mas mura. And you get access to certain AI upscaling features na exclusive lang sa 40 series. Coming now to the 4070 Super, a new addition to the price sheet because you guys asked for it. That we tracked track natin yung 4070, but now with the Super, people were like, track the Super, so we're like, okay. And for the first month, it's at around 38,700. So no historical data yet because this is the first month we're tracking it. Big price jump over the 4060, but as I always say, the 4070 Super should be cheaper than the 4070 and it is faster. Mas mura siyang card, Nvidia tweaked it a little. Although sa local retailers natin, bihira kang makakakita ng mas mura talaga yung 4070 Super. That's, I think, because of old stock. Na binilin na yung 4070 at the old price and of course they need to liquidate it, they need to sell it, na parang hindi naman sila maluge. So, when you're buying a 4070s from suppliers, you're actually getting it cheaper than the old price of the 4070. Then they bump up the price of the Super a little. Still around 39,000, 38,700 for the 4070 Super. Decent price. We'll see how it fluctuates as we get closer to the holiday season. 
And then another request that we've added starting this month is the 4070 Ti Super. So yung use case nito, you want to spend a bit more than the 4070 Super, but you don't want to spend as much as the 4080 Super. And it's in that ballpark. I mean, kitang-kita talaga sa prices natin. So, nasa gitna talaga siya. <laughs> it's like you add, it, it, it's, it's pretty good. It's super straightforward. You add 20,000, you get the next level card. So, 4070 Super, maybe add around 20,000, slightly less, you get the TI Super. And then you add 20,000 more, you get the 4080 Super. So, gitnang gitna talaga siya. Although a lot of our viewers or some viewers commented na better value yung 4070 Ti Super because it costs less and then yung performance per price mas maganda. Mas mabilis pa rin yung 4080 Super but compared to the amount that you're paying, mas sulit yung 4070 Ti Super. And the price difference is, you know, kitang-kita talaga siya. Mga 22,000 peso price difference between the 4080 Super and the 4070 Ti Super. As mentioned in the intro, the 4080 Super is not looking that great. Pataas siya ng pataas. We first started tracking prices April this year, and they've just gone up and up. I mean, 67,000 or so was a great price. I think yung nangyari dito, you know, it, you know, high-end cards are a little harder to sell in our market. So nung unang labas siya, retailers were sort of hesitant, and you know, we'll, we'll start introducing it at a low price. But um, maybe they've seen that the market can carry it. May capacity tama sa market for these high-end uh, GPUs, so the prices have increased. And actually, what also matters is what models and what brands are available. Because mga tipong Palit, uh, Galax, they're usually cheaper than let's say MSI, ASUS, or Gigabyte, and that really can skew the average prices of the card. So we'll look later into the deep dives. Ano bang 4080 supers na available? And maybe that's why the price keeps going up because the lesser known brands have been eliminated, the cheaper ones. So, yung natitira na lang sa market, yung medyo mahal, yung mga mainstay brands talaga. And if you have a lot of spare change to drop, of course, you can always go with the current King of the Hill, but won't be for long because it's supposedly mara reveal na finally yung 5090, maybe end of the year or start of next year. But currently, the 4090 is sitting at around 115,000 pesos, which is not bad compared to its historical price. We've been tracking it since, oh, tagal na, 2023. Wow. Yeah, since, since 2022, actually. Luma na rin pala ng 4090. And at that time, it was 117,000. And then, you know, it would go up a little bit. Actually, pretty stable in 4090, in fairness. Tumas lang siya around here kasi yung again the supply of what cards were available nagbago so we had some really expensive 4090 cards but now it's back around 115 starting mga december last year and then continuing this year medyo tumasha but now back around to a decent price of 115 amd gpus popular for those who are looking for more bang for your buck Plus, not really that interested in RTX or upscaling performance. NVIDIA still does it better for those upscaling technologies. 6600, slight price decrease. 7700 XT, slight price increase. Or not too slight, actually. Around 1000 plus or so. And a new entry in our series because you guys requested it, the 7900 GRE. It's a bit hard to find the 7900 GRE. Only one shop out of four that we surveyed had it. Hardware Sugar has it sometimes, pero mabilis maubos. We carry XFX, I think sometimes the Sapphire model. So we do have it sometimes, uh, pero mabilis nga maubos. So I guess people are looking for it. Basically, just a step down. Yung ano nito, parang it's a step down from the 7900 XT. So it's the 7900 GRE, and then step above that 7900 XT, and then the top tier ng AMD is the 7900 XTX. But seem, people seem to like the price to performance of the GRE. So it's sitting at around 40,600, which is more expensive than the 4070 Super by around 2,000 pesos. Doon naman talaga siya naglalaro, parang... 4070 Super versus the 7900 GRE. Although the GRE is coming out a little bit more expensive compared to the NVIDIA card. The XTX, really no price change. I mean, just kind of ping-pongs between 65, 67. 
XTX is a tough sell for AMD. So roughly, it is comparable to the 4080. But now that there's the 4080 Super, na mas mabilis and mas mura, the XTX is really sort of in a no man's land. Hard to recommend the XTX. But easy to recommend AMD CPUs. Um, they have some of the best CPUs now on the market, especially for gaming. Just jumping a little bit to the 7800X3D. Whose price has been going steadily up since July. There have been some availability issues with the 7800X3D. But that has been alleviated a little bit, but prices are still up. 7950X, no change from the last one. We will be adding more AMD CPU soon since the 9000 series is actually already available in some retailers, but not very widespread yet. 7600X, which is sort of the entry-level performance for the 7000 series, kind of like the 5600X also before. Slight price drop and a drop also for the 5600X. So 7600X AM5 platform and then the 5000 series, the last of the AM4 platform, which is still very good. Ganda the performance ng AM4. And the 5600G, which is sort of entry-level Good performance for its price, slight price decrease as well. Intel CPUs really taking a beating on the market. All of the RMA issues. Na tama andre yung mga customers natin with yung mga RMA issues ni Intel. Basically, the boards are sending the motherboards are sending too much power to the CPUs, trying to get them to run faster, and that might ultimately cut down significantly yung lifespan ng mga Intel CPUs for 13th and 14th gen. Um, so yeah, that's been, and Intel has not been that responsive, to be honest, with the RMAs. The suppliers won't take them directly. They insist that you send them directly to Intel, and it's been a chore having to deal with Intel directly. We're still waiting, actually, for our RMAs to be approved from Intel. So we'll see how that goes. And Intel also has the new generation of CPUs coming out. We will update this as the new models roll out. But 4900K, King of the Hill, no price change. 14700K, which is performance, latest performance level for Intel. So you can get faster, you can get cheaper, but you know, 14700K, probably what an enthusiast would consider, slightly cheaper. 13600K, which sort of held the same position for the previous generation, 13th gen. We have not seen it in a couple of months. So... Panahon na rin para baguhin or update yung mga tinatrack natin na CPUs. So we'll be doing that as the new CPUs roll out. We like to include the 12500 as a sort of like entry level or the lower end of the market. And there was a slight price decrease to around slightly below 13000 The 12 series is actually still popular for Intel yun nga because you don't need a lot of performance depending on what you use your computer for kung pang office lang pang internet even homework a kid will use it you know to type up a document to do a powerpoint to do a presentation on Canva lahat yun kaya kaya with these kind of CPUs all right that's the summary nothing really leaping out 3060 good price 4060 good price um starting to track some of the GPU models that you guys requested. So no scary price bumps for Halloween. And in the per shop deep dive, the data we just looked at is the summary of the prices of four different PC shops. And we break down the data here. Di namin sinasabi kung ano yung name ng shop. So we hide them behind pseudonyms from science fiction. So you got Wedge from Star Wars, Roy from... Robotech or Macross, Roy Foker, Joker, of course, the pilot of the Normandy from Mass Effect, and Wash, the pilot of Firefly from the eponymous Firefly. So we also color code these prices. So red means the price went up compared to last month. So from Wedge, the cheapest 1650 is now 8920 Last month, kasi 8775 siya. Yeah, so just going through these briefly, 3050 Dual went down from Wedge. 3060 Dual also went down. Uh, 4060 went up. So 4070 Super, 4070 Ti Super. You notice that the 4070 Super, yung pinakamura is from Palit. Pero yung 4070 Ti Super, yung pinakamura lang na nahanap ko is MSI. And like I mentioned, the 4080 Super, baka kaya mahal because yung mas established na brands, yun lang yung available. 
So we got Gigabyte 4080 Super, Asus 4080 Super, Asus 4080 Super, uh, and only Wash has a Palit 4080 Super as its cheapest. As you notice, sobrang mura niya. It's 64,000 compared to 87,000. The cheapest from Joker, 86,000. The cheapest from Roy, and 73,000. The cheapest from Wedge. So, even if you're looking at the same model, 4080 Super, depending on the brand, malaki rin yung price difference. Roy, actually, all of the price differences are pababa. So, mas mura 3060, mas mura 4060, both from Galax. And then the 4090 of MSI, looking at a good price of at around 116,000 pesos. I know that is one computer build for some people. Medyo mahal nga yung 116, but yung nga, in the context of how much the 4090 has been before, we've seen it hit around 140 just last August, the average price. At least mga 116 na lang siya. Joker also, the only price difference this month is downwards and wash as well. So actually, we're seeing a lot of downwards movement, even from Wedge. So those are the NVIDIA cards, AMD cards. 6600 from Wedge got cheaper. The 7700 XT got more expensive. GRE, no stock. And the XTX also went down slightly. From Roy, GRE also no stock. Joker, GRE also no stock. Only Wash, which to be fair to Wash, always has good stock. I mean, in terms of availability, may available na GRE. This green one here is the computation. So these are actually the same prices that you'll see here in the summary. We're, you know, very data-driven. We take note when not all of the stores had them. So for the 3060, only three had them. And then we take note talaga. And the GRE, yun nga, only Wash had them, one sample lang. Because the number of stores that have them also place into consideration kung how reliable the pricing data is. Maganda sana if all four stores had them, so yun talaga yung average of major retailers. So, mas ballpark talaga. You can sort of more rely on the price the more data points that you have. And to be honest, it's a real pain in the ass to have to add or delete entries because I have to keep moving the sheet and then updating the cell formulas and things like that. That's why we don't add GPUs and CPUs often. Also kasi we like to have historical data. So kung papalit-palit yung mga tinitrack namin, medyo nasisira yung trending that we can do based on past historical analysis. So we don't do it often, but we asked you guys last month what you guys wanted. You guys told us what you wanted. And we put it in. We also keep track of the old data na sa ilalim dito nung summary. You just need to scroll down. So here's the old 4070 data up to August this year. Sorry, September this year. Then old 3900K data. We swapped out the 4080 for the 4080 Super. Uh, we were tracking before 6500, 6700 XT. We were tracking also old 30... Wow! 3080. Tira ba to, ah? 3080. So mga 41,000 pesos. And then you jump to its equivalent... 4080 double 80,000 84,000 Jensen is not rich enough he's coming for your money so per shop deep dive for CPUs naman tayo CPUs you know less volatile talaga wedge no price change at all Roy isa lang pababa Joker three price changes all pababa and Wash only has one price change and a slightly I was surprised by this kasi yung dati niya mga 25,000 and actually, that's the second price. Yeah, so last month, Skywash 7800X3D went up. And then this month also, it went up by around 500 pesos. But you know, merienda na rin yun. Or even at 12500, we only had one sample available. I didn't realize that from Wedge. Everybody else wala nang stock. <laughs> See, Roy? Roy only had two of the CPU models that we track, and then parehong AMD. And then yung nga, the Intel side, bihira na makaanap ng 13600K and yung 12500. But CPU prices generally more stable than GPU prices. Not much change there. So that's it for Price Watch for October. 3060 and 4060 are looking pretty good price wise. Not that great, but at least they've sort of stabilized. I would not buy a 4080 Super at the moment. Price keeps going up. 
4070 Ti Super really looks like the midpoint between the 4070 Super and the 4080 Super. So, talagang sakto talaga sa gitna. Look at these prices in real time. The link to the Google Sheet is in the description below. And we'll see you again next month for more price action. Thanks for watching.